the first thing you don't, that I, for me, that I was trying to avoid was sort of the caricature or some sort of generic idea of what a mob boss would be. This is, you know, the never before heard stories behind the scenes of the making of The Godfather. What were you most surprised to learn was completely true? I mean, I have to say it was, um, you know, this is a story about uh, uh, making a movie and the producer uh, is at the center. It's about a, about um, what it takes to do that and the impossible task. Uh, uh, but for me, th th what was compelling about this specific instance was uh running head head on with the mafia <laughs> go figure um and and what um, al ruddy the producer did to to overcome uh that and to, to at the end to get his support my, the character that i was playing joe joe colombo um and you know it's just a testament to somebody that mentality and and, and somebody who's just willing you know against all odds to do what it takes to get something through the finish line what was the most valuable resource for you when you're diving into someone like joe colombo that's a great question because it, you know it's always i think for me the script and the story that you're you're, you're telling or that the writers and producers are telling um but there was a great book that uh that was written by anthony colombo who's joe colombo's son and another author by uh, uh, Don Capria, who, uh, which was really informative and just like talked about personal effects and um, what what life at home was like and sort of personified this person, you know, like the first thing you don't, that I, for me, that I was trying to avoid was sort of the caricature or some sort of generic idea of what a mob boss would be and and um and it was also something that was important to you know to have humor a lot of these guys are really darkly funny but they're funny you know and i think it's the balance of that so yeah definitely when you're thinking about your career what's the offer that you couldn't refuse the role you had to say yes to definitely because i was uh i am and was such a fan of james cameron's um i mean there's uh that the avatar um uh and then also yeah i mean for me it's it's it, there's so many different, uh, um factors that go into deciding to do a role and and I, it's often for me more focused on who the filmmakers are and the directors and so yeah like i don't know if that answered your question no it does speaking of working with james cameron what is it like knowing we're about to enter this kind of new franchise phase of Avatar so many years later. I am so excited about the new Avatar films coming out. Um, the, so two, I think, is coming out this year, and then three is coming out the next year. And then we're going to do four and five. Um, but yeah, um, uh, I think it really sort of takes what the first film was and just uh, takes it to an, a whole nother level. I mean, what they did, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of stories, but it's just as extraordinary, I think, as, as the first one. Amazing. I can't wait. Thank you so much for your time. Such a pleasure to talk to you. Yeah, nice to talk to you, too.